We are here at Three Creeks Brewing and Sisters, and I am here with Wade Underwood, and we're here today to uh, talk about your beer. A taster tray is uh, available every day, depending on how many beers we have. Today I put uh, eight up in front of you. We have two more available if you'd like to try. No, I think that this will be fine. <laughs> uh, we like to have kind of the rainbow of beer available to, uh, to our patrons, and uh, go from a blonde uh, to our stonefly rye, up to a ponderosa pale, uh, run into our Firestorm Red right now. That goes back and forth between the Echo Amber and the Red. The Hoodoo Voodoo IPA, which is our flagship IPA. Five Pine Chocolate Porter, which uh, is named for the campus on which we exist. Uh, the, the fun thing about that chocolate porter is we put 25 pounds of Belgian Calabot chocolate in the boil. Our Raptor Rye IPA is right here. That's a beer we came out with about three months ago. And then the capper there is our Big Bad Sister Stout. It's an imperial stout, 9.2% alcohol, uh, about 55, 60 IBUs. Now, what is an IBU? An IBU uh, is a measurement of bitterness. It's an international bittering unit. So on a scale of one to 100, it's really trying to rate how hoppy the beer is. So our Naughty Blonde is an 18. Not very hoppy. Uh, it's not a real complex beer. It's two malts, one hop. When you get up towards our IPAs, they're 80, 82 IBUs. You're getting a lot more hops than those. We're uh, you know, typically three plus additions in the boil, uh, as well as a dry hopping to give it a, a great aroma and a lot of uh, mid-mouth bitterness. That is so fascinating. Thank you for telling me that because I'm, a, I'm the girl that goes into a brewery and says, give me your lightest, less hoppy beer. And now I understand that and I can actually look at the IBUs and I'll know and You'll more. be able to tell, yeah. yeah. And then you can go from a, a really simplistic, you know, two malt, uh, one hop beer like our, uh, our Naughty Blonde or step it up with a little more interest to our Stonefly Rye. It's still about 18 to 20 IBUs. So if you're leaning against the bitterness, you can still go with a little more complexity roll up into an amber or something along those lines where you're talking 40 IBUs, totally different beers. So what's interesting I saw that you guys have coming up is you're doing a event where you're pairing your beer with dessert. Yeah. This is a chocolate brownie meltdown. Uh, we actually use the Belgian chocolate from our chocolate porter and mix it into our brownie, homemade brownies. I think I should probably take a bite and then try the beer. I have not tried this beer yet. Mmm. Mmm. Yum, yum, yum. I love that. So the same mm. Belgian chocolate that we put in the boil, we recapture from uh, from the kettle itself. We save it and we use it. Uh, we use it in the brownies. Mm, that is really good. Yeah, we'll I'm gonna to just move right onto this one. Yeah, please do. That is the Big Bad Sister Stout, 9.2 percent alcohol imperial stout, coffee infused with seven and a half gallons of cold pressed Sumatra. Roasted at Sisters Coffee Cup. Wow, that is the most unusual beer. A lot of roast in the in the front, you know, mm. early mouth, and then big, big mouth feel. Wow. Very rich. Uh, wow. That coffee tends to to uh, take over the palate and finish with a nice, appropriate bitterness from the style. Um, so I wanted to know, uh, like, how much beer you distribute. Produced just under 1,700 barrels last year. Wow. We'll do closer to 2,000 barrels this year. Uh, we opened in July of 2008, so we'll have our 50 year anniversary July 18th this year. It was my dream and my plan. I always wanted to open this business, so I immersed myself in the restaurant business. Started waiting tables and busing tables uh, in town. Uh, but we're really going for high quality food and a, and a nice variety. You know, we've got a fantastic burger, our signature burger uh, is, is my favorite thing to eat on the menu. Great salads. Uh, we source locally whenever possible. Our, you know, we use Tillamook cheese. We use Fulton beef out of Portland. All of our hops and malt are sourced you know, locally northwest. Well, it sounds like, Wade, you're living your dream. It sounds like you've made a success. And I love your brewery. Um, I'm going to enjoy some more food here and uh, hang out for a couple more days and enjoy some of your beers. I'm going to taste a little bit of all of this. Excellent. And, uh, and I thank you so much for being on Organ Lifestyles. Thank you.